G'day folks, Rod from My Water Filter here today. And what we're gonna do is just uh, complete the install for the under sink water filter, okay? Now, I'm gonna use a little single stage here. It doesn't matter if it's a single stage, a twin, or a triple, all right? They're all going in the same. There's two screws to hold the bracket at the top, up onto the covered wall, and then we're basically connecting our under sink kit to the through the pressure limiting valve into the inlet side of the filter. The water will get filtered, single, twin, or triple. The water will flow out the other side and it will come out of the faucet, okay? So as you can quickly see here, what we've already done is installed the faucet on the top. It's connected with a white hose and here's the white hose here for the faucet. And underneath the sink here, we've got the under sink installation T-piece and that is already got the hose on it ready to go over to where we're going to install our filter. So pretty easy, but make sure that you're safe, nothing in your way, not going to get injured in any way, okay? And the first thing we're going to do is get the filter and put it up into position. Now what is going to happen when you change your cartridge, you're going to screw the bottom off, okay? And when you screw the bottom off, then you've got to take it down a little bit and be able to putting it out of your cupboard, all right? So you need an extra 30 centimetres of height and a minimum of 30 centimetres, uh, uh, millimetres, sorry, 30 millimetres underneath the uh, filter. So you can drop it down to take it out, all right? So we're gonna make sure we get him up high enough. So I've just got a texter here. We're gonna hold it in position, put a couple of marks, and then we'll, uh, we'll drill a hole to put our screws in, okay? So first thing I'm gonna do, slide him in here underneath the sink. Hold him in position, and I've got plenty under my fingers as you can see. So I'll just hold him in the position where I want to install him, and just put a little mark. Beautiful. Okay, so now we know where we're going, okay? What I'm gonna do here today, got a couple of screws that come with the filter, uh, but I'm not just gonna put the screws straight in. Just got a little pilot hole here, and I'll just put a couple of little uh, drill holes there first, okay? Okay. Just makes it a bit easier to uh, to get it all screwed in. All right, basically got the tech gun here, and we'll screw him in. Okay. Oop. Rightio. She's now mounted and sitting into position, okay? We can take our water inlet hose coming from our T-piece. We will cut him to length. Don't need any crazy amount of cable in the cupboard. So I'm just gonna nip him off to length. Now this is the pressure limiting valve. It is part of the installation kit. And we do recommend that people use them to stop any sudden surges of, elect of uh, water pushing onto the system. And we basically just gotta put the hose for the incoming water push up into there one and a half centimeters once it's installed into place on with our red clip spin him around make sure it's locked on there tight on proper beautiful which he is okay then we've got the hose coming from the water inlet we'll turn that on in a minute the water's flowing through, up into the filter, fill up the housing, 
penetrate through the cartridges, whether it's one, two or three cartridges, then the water's gonna come out the other side. So we'll just pull our red clip off the top there. We'll cut our hose to length, what we require, and we'll connect the, uh, the faucet to the outflowing side of the water filter. Okay, now you don't want it to uh, be in the way of anything else. Get it right at the back of the cupboard out of the way as best we can. Okay. That one's gonna go up and into the top there. Okay. Once again, push him in one and a half centimetres. I didn't bring that one up over the top there actually. Might be a bit, bit neater there. Push him in. That's got him. Just making sure that that red clip is clipped under the collar properly. Can just spin him around and make sure it's connected properly. The hose is good to go. And everybody's happy, all right? And basically, we're done. That's us. The under sink filter is connected. We've got the incoming water line, water coming in, coming out the top of our hose. Hose is coming all the way back out, over to our fil faucet, and our, uh, our system's installed, okay? Thanks very much.